Praise the Lord. I want to give glory to God because of who he is. And I want to appreciate the name of Jesus Christ. I want to glorify his name for another opportunity granted unto us to worship him and to glorify him. Another opportunity to be in the presence of the Almighty King. So we thank God for keeping us unto this glorious hour. I know you had been up and down today. Maybe up and down physically or up and down with your mind. Maybe you are going through some decisions to make things that are not you know not easily spoken of. So only you know that stress that you are going through. But I want you to tell your problem wherever you are. Say my problems down because I want to commune with my God. I want to listen and hear what he has to say to me. There are problems, always going to be problems, challenges, and things that are not easily discussed. And maybe you're going through it and you don't even know who to talk to. But I assure you that our God is a God that knows it all. Even when you think that everything is falling apart. How to fix it. I want you to know that tonight God has decided to show us some things really talking about the way that we need to structure our lives. Especially when we want to climb with our finances. There are spiritual paths for this section of life. Of course, we go to work, work hard to ensure that our finances do not sink. But in all, I want you to understand that it is God himself that gives power to create wealth. God. God himself. So in doing this, I want you to understand that there are Things that we need to know. You need to overcome what I call the seven deeds we must deal with. We must overcome it. I want you to listen. I'm going to just do a little speaking before we go into prayers. We're going to be praying with these things that I'm going to mention. I want you to listen. The seven Ds. There are seven Ds that confront a man. Any man that is on purpose, any man that has decided to do the will of God, any man that has been called of God. Now I'm talking about those 
who have sanctified themselves, who have made vow with our God, and say, come what may, I am for Jesus. I am for the Lord. No matter how the devil is kicking me down, no matter how situation is coming on me, no matter what my mind is doing to me, whatever is happening, I stand for Jesus. There are things, there are things that comes to that man, that confronts that man, which he needs to overcome before he'll be able to stand in the place which God has destined for all those who call upon his name, for all those who have made covenant. In the book of Psalm chapter 55, he said, call those who have made covenant with me. Let them gather together. Those who have made covenant, those who have decided that we have to stand for God by all means, by all means. Now, to overcome this, I call the seven Ds, which number one is destiny. If you have pen, you might want to write it down. Destiny. I may not be able to deal with all of them tonight, but the few we're going to pray. I'm just going to tell you a few things, and then we'll pray. Destiny. You have to confront. There are things that confront this man which he needs to overcome, your destiny. Two, destination. 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 It is destiny that carries you to destination. Destination. Three, decision. The decision you make. Your decision it's very important to confront when you are planning this journey of life, to stay where God wants you to stay, to do what God wants you to do, to deal with those things, and to also stand in a financial position that God wants you to stand in. You need to overcome destiny, number one. You need to confront destination. You need to confront your decision. You need to confront desire. Your desire. Your desire is number four. Your desire. Your desire. You, need to, you may need prayer to write these things down. As it comes, I'm giving it to you. You may also confront distraction. Distraction. And then you look at discipline. Discipline. And the last of all is determination. So you got to determine where you're going. Confront these things are the things that stand up in the seven steps of life. They stand up and they confront you. What is your determination? What is your discipline? What is your distraction? And then what is your desire? And what is your decision? What is your destination? And then what is your destiny? So from number one, destiny, destination, decision, desire, distraction, discipline, and determination. These are the things that confronts a man. These are the things that confront anyone that stands for God. These are the things that fights back to ensure that you stop saying what you were saying, to ensure that your life is lived miserably. They stand on your way. You don't think that any time God calls you, the devil will fold his hand and say, okay, God has called you. Go ahead and smile and do things easy. No, it's not going to be easy. 
It's not going to be easy. There are one preaching that goes around those days, which I try to tell people, you know, when they come, they say, oh, once you believe in Jesus, everything will be all right. No, that's not true. No, that's not true. You believe in Jesus, you get ready to fight. You get ready. Those who overcome, you cannot overcome without fighting. That's why it is clearly made to you, made known to you. That you have to overcome. Overcome means that something was coming over you and then you overcome. This you stay on top of the game. You stay on top of it. You did not allow it to sink you. So these are the things that are coming to sink you to ensure that you don't reach your destination. You don't profess what God has given to you. You don't fulfill them. You don't fulfill the promises of God. These are the seven things that comes. I want us to look at a few scriptures. I'm not really going to go in depth to it because of time. I want you to look at Jeremiah chapter 1. 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 I want to read from verse 5 to 10. The Bible said, Before I formed you in the womb, I know you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Alas, sovereign Lord, I said, I do not know how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord said to me, do not say, I am too young. You must go to everyone I send you to and say whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. Then the Lord reached out of his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, I have said, I have put my words in your mouth. Please, today I appointed you over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. This is the word of God. So in overcoming these seven days, you need to understand, number one, that God has called you. You need to believe that. And he knows you before you were formed. He knows you when you were just like water. He knows you when you were not in a big sense. He knows you. He knows you. David said that every of my parts is written in the books. When your parts were scattered in the books, God joined it together. He knows even before you come together, and were born. He said, before, before I formed you in the womb, I know you. <laughs> Formation, before you form. Hallelujah. 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 You were not an accident. You were in formation. You were not just an accident. Like, you know, you just come on. And then you just appear in your mother's womb. No. You were formed. Your parts were scattered in the books. Oh, I don't know. Maybe God knows the kind of books it was. But David was speaking. He said, he said my parts was 
before I was formed. My part was in the books. So God began to bring them together and form you. And he says, before you were born, before, before you were born, I set you apart. Before you were born, there is a word upon your head. That's why the enemy comes at you the way he comes at you. Every other person had it easy. Once you put your hand there, it seems difficult. It means that there is something about you. It's something God wants you to learn. That you are special. You are apart. You are, you are set apart. And the enemy goes with these seven Ds. He goes to attack them. Your destiny. Your destination. He knows. If I leave this man, he will reach his destination. If I leave this woman, he will reach his destination. So I'm going to damage his destination. I'm going to damage the destiny. I'm going to damage the decision. So he begins to feed you with wrong decisions. Damage you with desires. And distract you. Put people, put things that will distract you. And your discipline will go from 100 to zero. There's no discipline. Determination, zero. You are not determined to make it. Every little war pulls you off. And the Lord says you need to confirm these things. In Jeremiah chapter 29, I'm going to read again 10 to 14. Hallelujah. I hope you are being blessed tonight. Jeremiah 29, 10 to 14. Verse 10 says, this is what the Lord says. When 70 years are completed for Babylon, I will come to you and fulfill my good promise to bring you back to this place. I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. Hallelujah. <laughs> you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord. Hallelujah. I will bring you back to this place from which I carried you into exile. Your heart. When you seek me with all your heart. So the enemy is after the heart. To ensure that you don't seek the Lord with all your heart. So he interferes and begin to distract you. I begin to tell you there's a particular way to do it. I begin to teach you the corrupted wisdom. And then you begin to lose that which the Lord has given to you. There are, there are covenants. You are a child of promise. You are a child of covenant. You are not any other human being. Stop looking at your brother. Don't try to be like your sister. You are separated apart. You are made for a particular reason. Find the destiny. Confront everything that is confronting your destiny. It could be your job. It could be your, it could be your friend. It could be a habit. It could be anything. The devil uses it to do what? To capture you. So that you don't stand in the fulfillment of the word of God. Now the covenant empowers you in form of insight. Covenant. The way to confront these seven days, the way to confront it so that 
you will live in plenty. You will live in excess. That is the will of God. That is the will of God. When Jesus spoke about Abraham's bosom, Abraham's bosom is not a place. It's something that deals with faith and plenty. Abraham's bosom. I want you to understand that. He spoke about when Lazarus lives in Abraham's bosom in plenty and surplus by faith, by faith, by faith, by faith. Abraham's bosom goes with covenant. The covenant which God, the agreement which the Lord has made for those separated, for those kept apart, for those that have been formed. <laughs> he said, before I form you, I know you. Before I begin to put your head in place, put your hand in place, put your legs in place, put every part of you, that complex part, set it up properly, and then drop you in that city where you are. Put you exactly in that family. It's not by mistake. I formed you. I set you up. Join you with that person, put you together, do everything, even when it is wrong. Oh, my Korah Shandeleba. He said, I found you and I knew you. One thing you're going to do for me, confront these things with the covenant I've made for you because I, the Lord, am with you. Covenant empowers you in form of insight, which I'm going to pray. I'm going to stop in a few minutes now, and I'm going to pray. Insight. Insight. Revelation. 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 Without insight, there is no revelation. Concept. Your concept, the way you think, begins to form by your revelation. When God opens your eyes, when God opens your mind, when God shows you, remember what the Lord told Moses? He said, whatever I showed you on this mountain, you go down and repli replicate the same thing you saw here. Make the same thing. Without revelation, you will be in trouble. Without insight, there will be no revelation. There will be no concept. Moses came down with that concept and began to build and invent witty inventions and ideas. You will open up your ideas with revelation. Ideas. 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 If you look at Genesis chapter 2, you will understand the revelation of Edenic atmosphere. God's original plan is to give those who he made in his image an Eden. Eden means plenty shots, to have plenty. That is God's design and God's desire. And we must take it by force. We must take it by faith. God's desire is for you to live plenty. In plenty. God's desire is for you to live in Eden, especially this end of times. This end of times. This end of times. He said there is an army and God is setting up. He said they shall run and will not break their ranks. The land shall be like the garden of Eden before them. And behind them, desolate wilderness. The land in front of them. So long as they are moving, they shall not lack. The God makes a way. Even when the back is darkened with confusion, with everything, with sickness. Sickness rising up every here and there. Disease is coming up from nowhere. People getting some sickness that has no name yet. He said, in front of you, you shall have that garden of Eden. As I'm speaking right now, there's somebody, God is healing. That sickness 
is going to be healed right away because you are among those that live in the garden of Eden. He said, the land shall be like garden of Eden before you. In the garden of Eden, there is no sickness. There is no sickness. There is no disease. And therefore, I command every sickness that you are going through right now, every discomfort, every disease, every pain, every dizziness, every nausea, I command you now. I command you, stop. I command you, leave that body in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So God's plan is for you to be in Eden. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to be praying right now. Before we go forward, as time permits me, I may not finish this, but these few things I'm recording, I'm labeling for you, you need to put it down. Even after we finish praying here, you go ahead and continue to pray. (laughs) God designed for you to be in plenty. After we confront this, you are going to be praying tonight and say, Lord, I begin to confront my destiny. My destiny shall not be thwarted. Anywhere the enemy has thwarted my destiny, anywhere the enemy has tampered with my destiny, any way he has made it look warm, not cold, not hot. Remember what the Lord says. I will spill you out of my mouth. Any way the enemy has succeeded in making my destiny look warm, I command by fire, by fire, vomit it right now. The enemy, you cannot swallow my destiny. You cannot take over my destiny. I command you right now to vomit, to vomit it, to vomit it, to vomit it, to vomit it, to vomit it. Yes, Lord. Let him vomit it right now. Let him bring it out. My destiny must, must be completed in my hand in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We're going to rise. Wherever you are right now, you're going to stand on your feet. Hey, like a soldier of war. Huh? Mm. Don't worry about that sickness. Don't worry about that weakness. By the time we finish this prayer, the Lord is going to empower. He's going to fill you up with the kind of energy you have not experienced. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to shout Holy Ghost five seven times the blood of Jesus Christ seven times, and you begin to pray. You begin to command that every sickness, yes, sir, everything, every enemy that have swallowed my destiny, wherever that enemy is, wherever my destiny is, whether it is buried in my own country, whether it is buried with my umbilical cord, whether it is buried inside the sea, whether it has been tampered with with any kind of necromancy, with any kind of witchcraft, with any kind of authority, hey, being buried my destiny, I command by fire to be vomited right now. Open your mouth, Holy Ghost fire seven times, the blood of Jesus seven times. Jesus one time, and you begin to pray. Holy Ghost fire. 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 The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. The precious blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus. We begin to pray right now. Every destiny that has been swallowed up, that has been taken over, that has been replaced by the enemy. Hey, 
every destiny that have been replaced by the powers of Satan, but have been taken over by the enemy, I command you right now, vomit, 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 vomit. Rabagado, brogodo, robogo, zibrege, delibagodo, robogo, zibaha. Begin to vomit it right now. Vomit it right now. You cannot swallow it. I come against you by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. I command you to vomit it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to vomit it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to vomit it right now what the Lord has spoken about me must come to pass you cannot stop it you cannot seize it you cannot stand on it I am too much for you the enemy you cannot stand because the Lord is with me because the Holy Spirit has come yes you must vomit you must vomit it you must drop it you must vomit it you must hand it over <laughs> Yoshilu, 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 begin to hand over my destiny back to me, back to me, back to me, back to me, back to me. Rabbi, in taking no more support, yes, Lord, nothing missing on this destiny must be handed back over to me in the name of Jesus Christ. I release the fire, 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 I release the fire. You must hand it over. You must hand it over by force and by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to declare the same on your children. Their destiny can never be controlled by the wicked one. Anyone the enemy has hijacked their destiny, I command fire, I command fire, I command fire. I command fire. I command fire. I command fire. It cannot. Every enemy, every forces of darkness, everyone, anyone that walks by the witches, anyone that walks by the necromancer, anyone, anyone, wherever they are, buried, hanged, or killed in the sea, I command you right now. Come out. Come out by fire. By fire. By fire. Be returned right now by fire. I command the enemy to vomit my children's destiny. Vomit it. Vomit it. Vomit it. Let them take over their destiny right now. The enemy will have no right to control their destiny. Ha. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Yes, we're going to be praying for our destination. Destination, destination, both spiritually and physically and eternally. Destination, destination, destination. There are where there is a place God has set you up. If you're not in that place, nothing goes on. Sometimes it looks as if it's going, but it will suddenly stop because you're in the wrong place. Top and over. You cannot but stand in that place, your destination is guaranteed. We're going to shout Holy Ghost five seven times, and we're going to scream the blood of Jesus Christ seven times, I begin to command your destination is secured in the hand of God. Destination is secured in the hand of God. Destination is secured in the hand of God. I command right now. Open your mouth. Holy Ghost five seven times, the blood of Jesus seven times. And begin to command. And Jesus one time, he begin to command and every destination, all your destination, the destination that God has set up for your children, for your family, for you, for your husband, must be accomplished in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mind right now. No longer delay. Mm. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy fire, holy fire, holy fire, holy fire in Jesus' mighty name. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus, yes, open your mouth, begin to pray right now. Father, anywhere my destination has been hijacked, anywhere the destination of my children has been hijacked, 
that they are in confusion right now. They are misplaced right now. They are not in the right place. They are not with the right person. They are not with the right relationship. They are not with the right person. Father, I command by fire, by fire, by fire, reorganize, 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 reorganize. They are not in the right city, reorganize. They are not in the right place, reorganize. Anywhere my husband is in trouble, is in the wrong destination, reorganize, 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 reorganize. Anywhere that my wife is in the wrong destination, reorganize, reorganize. Hey, reach out, O oh Lord, and reorganize. I command you, the enemy of progress, you, the enemy that set up people in the wrong destination, I command you right now, lose and let them go. 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 Rabba Gadibe Kopanama Supah. Yes, mighty Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, because they must reach their destination. Their destination is guaranteed. It's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. We confront you right now. You enemy of destination. We confront you by this covenant. Ah! By this covenant. Ah! Bani Kolo Riemasa. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now we're going to be praying for decision. 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 We're going to confront our decision right now by fire. Decision. Anytime the enemy wants to destroy a family, wants to destroy an individual, wants to destroy a nation, you put somebody that will make a wrong decision. Set up people to make wrong decisions. It will set them up. Set them up. Right now, we're going to take over every decision that the enemy has hijacked. Anywhere he is, whatever he has done, however he has done it, vomit. Restore it right now. <clears throat> Open your mind right now. You're going to command. Every decision I have made in the past that have affected my destination, every decision I command you right now, be organized. Hey, any decision that the enemy has jumped on the way and then you make the wrong decision and now you are suffering as, as a consequence of wrong decision. I command right now. I command right now. The enemy will have no hand. Open your mouth right now. Begin to release the fire against every forces of darkness that have hijacked your decision. Whether it's a relationship or a destination or in a place of work, wherever it is, that the fire of God will be released. Will be released. Will be released right now. Will be released. That my decision will be made right. That my decision will only come from God. That my decision will only be from God and will be according to your will and purpose in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth right now. Begin to command decision, decision. I shall not take wrong decision anymore. I shall not make wrong decision. I shall not make wrong decision. I command that my decision be hijacked from the enemy. Anyway, he has taken it over, I take it back by fire, 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 by fire. My decision must come from my God. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. 
for his mercy in the rain forever. Amen. For his mercy and your rage forever. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For his mercy and your rage forever. Amen. All his mercy endure it forever. Amen. For his mercy endure it forever. Amen. For his mercy endure it forever. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For his mercy and your rage forever. Amen. For his mercy and your rage forever. Amen. For his mercy and your rage forever. Amen. For his mercy endure it forever. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. For his mercy endure it forever. Amen. All his mercy and your rage forever. Amen. All his mercy and your rage forever. Amen. All his mercy and your rage forever. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Is very me to my God. Amen. For oh, his mercy and your rage forever. Amen. For oh, his mercy and your rage forever. Amen. For oh, his mercy and your rage forever. Amen. For oh, his mercy and your rage forever. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Jesus, for oh, his mercy and your rage forever. For his mercy and your forever. Amen. For his mercy and your forever. Amen. For his mercy and your forever. Amen. There's somebody on this prayer line that your belly is hurting. Your belly is hurting and you feel so tired. You feel so exhausted. I want you to place your right hand on the center of your stomach. Place your right hand there. I need to command every discomfort to cease right now. Just open your mouth and say, I command. Every discomfort to cease by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I command it to cease. I command it to cease. 
I command you to see. I command you to see. I command you to see. Robert to Kimbo Solovoko. I command you to see. You discomfort. You discomfort in that belly. And that weakness. I command you, get out. In the name of Jesus, get out. In the name of Jesus, get out. In the name of Jesus, get out. Be healed right now. Masekuria, masandelibo. Neporabe kanti mosai. Holy Spirit. Hey, mighty God. The God of provision. If somebody on this prayer line, God is releasing finances as you had never imagined. Hey, hey. Yes. 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 And I want you all to connect. There's an anointing here to heal your pocket. To heal your pulse, to heal your bank account. Just put, pretend you are putting your hands in the pocket. If you have pocket, put your two hands in your pocket. If not, just put it by your side. The anointing is coming in right now. That finances is going to be released unto you. You that are seeking that money to complete your bill. The power of God is here. He said, in a thousand hills, I have a thousand cows. I own it in a thousand hills. So if I'm hungry, I don't need to tell anyone. Because God has heard your cry. He's sending one of those to meet your need right now. Right now. There is a financial breakthrough that you have never imagined in your life. Yes, 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 yes. Take it, Master. Take it. In the name of Jesus, it's coming on you. Just raise your right hand. Begin to wave it unto God. Say, Lord, 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 I take it right now. It's a sign that my decision shall be right. A sign, mighty God, that my decisions are made right. In the name of Jesus Christ, every wrong is made right. Ah, that decision that I've taken you 10 years back, God, is taking it over right now, getting it up, that you regain all that you have lost. In one day, you regain, not Panagorimo Super, you regain all in one day. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We give you praise. We praise your name. We lift your name higher. 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 We lift your name higher, Jesus. We lift your name higher. 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 I say we lift your name high. 
We lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. We lift your name higher, Jesus. We lift your name higher. 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 We lift your name high. We lift your name higher. We lift your name high. We lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. We lift your name higher. Mighty Jesus is higher. Lift your name high. We shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the important and the ominous science. The great I am that I am. Masse Kondo Roboko Sinda Bakasai. Robobo Shandala Bakurba Sapa. Lipa Ramadu King of Sukkar. We thank you, Father, for what you have done today. We bless your name. We give you glory and praise. Be thou exalted, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to bless your name. If you're this prayer line. I want you to shout hallelujah wherever you are. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 